What's up, Black Knight Army Nation? It's your boy, Ghost Prodigy, and today we're finally diving into the Shadow of the Earth Tree DLC weapons. And obviously, we're gonna start off with this thing the Great Katana. Yeah, you guys already know how much I love katanas, and then I got Kiba being my favorite weapon. You guys know I just had to try this one out. So, quickly for PvE, this weapon is incredibly effective with lightning infusion. New to it, getting an A scaling in dexterity. With the two handed talisman equipped, our attack will be boosted by 15%, which means that as long as you're double handing this weapon, you're always going to be dealing out great damage. And with all that being said, let's get right into some PvP. Don't forget to stick around to the end of the video for the build breakdown. That's sick. It's a quid in. I like it. Ghost Rondo. Oh, god damn. Oh, with the range on this thing, dude. It's insane. I love it. Oh, not those things. Those things, those things are pretty scary. I ain't got like Oh, whoa, they have a lot of What the? I was just spamming for my left hand, you know, like... Wow, what is this? There it is, holy crap. Damn, dude, that thing gives you crazy iframes, bro. GG. Ooh, TTV. TTV, okay. Got... Oh, damn. Whoa, 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 whoa. This is a streamer, I'm guessing? With the rapier, you had to pull out another weapon. Whatever that weapon is, it's that big rapier. Right? There we go. There we go. That's how we do it. Jeez. Yo, it's loser. Loser. There is it. There is it. Nice. Where are my nice? Let's go! Oh, I spaced that. I spaced that on, oh, dude. That was that was a really fun match. GGS. I can't believe I spaced that that well. Real, real, real. It is a woman with male armor. Actually, I am curious about what Hubbard is going to do. Oh, I'm so glad that spell will work. There it is, there's that combo. <laughs> Dude, I just wanted to fucking hit her full force with that thing straight to the face. GG. Oh, it's Loser again. What's up, buddy? Oh, nice. Damn, 
the red in the heart, bro. GG. Hey! Oh, look at that. Rocky, the same fit. Real recognize real. Come on, bro. Mobile. Cool, dude. Let's get it. Got him! GG! Oh, come on, where's that bow? Give him the bow, bro! Looks like I wore it best! Ooh! Golden combatant. Bug iron in the hip. Oh, he's got the Thor hammer! He's got Thor's hammer! Oh, holy shit, that thing has a lot of fucking poise. Ah, I see. Maybe I do this. Oh, okay, that was better. That was better. Let's go. Oh, I managed to throw my passion, boy. <laughs> GG. Hey. Impale? Oh, this guy wants to impale me, huh? Oh, what the hell? Oh, I knew it! I guess I have some kind of fist weapons or something. There's actually a lot of stuff from the DLC I still haven't seen, guys. Like, I played at least like 20 hours of it. And I'm still not done. Oh my god, dude! How do. I need to learn how to dodge this shit. I have no idea. Get behind the pillar, even though the pillar is my enemy a lot of the time. Where the. I can't lock up here. There it is. Ooh. Dead. No, oh, you're dead. Get out of here. Oh, dude, that was close. GG. That thing is insane. Whatever that is that she was holding. Crazy. I need to get myself that. Super gamer. He's gaming. And he's coming in hard, holy shit! Freaking... I think I want spam too, bro. Oh, he's got that stance, right? What the... Yo, come on, man. Okay. This lag isn't gonna let me win, is it? Or maybe it is. GG? I don't know. Oh, Chris with the new Twin Blade. I mean, it looks sick as hell, I'm not gonna lie. Oh my god, Crouch Pokes with this thing is just so freaking ridiculous. Literally, you get two Crouch Pokes. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, 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 why the hell did I just sit there and take that? I don't know how much range that has. Oh, come on. There it is. There it is, there it is. GG. Ooh, that's a weapon I've never seen before. <laughs> that thing looks insane. <laughs> Is that a flower? Oh my god, it's a flower! What? I thought it was, dude, I thought it was a great hammer. I mean, it probably, I guess it is a great hammer, right? Wow, that weapon looks like it sucks, man. I mean, it talks to him for you, man, but what the fuck? <laughs> oh, that, this guy's cool as fuck for using that, to be honest. Because, like, I would have never. I would have just never. Oh, you got me. What the? What? What the fuck kind of animation was that? You should have given me the freaking backstab. But okay, okay, I guess. GG either way, bro. Ephraim. Oh, he's got that. He's got that thing. 
He's got that thing. Oh, I wonder what he's gonna do with it. Bro, I'm gonna use that thing soon too because that thing just looks insane. Bad. Break you out of it. Oh. Whoa, what the fuck? Oh, that's bullshit. That is so much bullshit. You like totally fucking rolled into that, bro. No, what the fuck? Dude! What? What's up, guys, and welcome to the build breakdown. But before we get into it, Please make sure to leave a like rating on the video and subscribe to the channel for more PvP builds. Alright, so let's take a look at what we're using. We're going to be using the Lightning Great Katana plus 25 and the overhead stance, netting us 1300 AR. We're going to be using the Black Knight Helm, Malekith's Armor Set, Gauntlets, and Greaves. We're going to be using a new two-handed talisman, which gives us a boost of 15% attack power, early Trivia plus 2, Bogos Talisman, and the Shard of Alexander. A couple of things with this katana is that when you do a crouch poke and you do a R1 again, there is a second poke, which you can delay actually just a little bit to try and catch up on the roll catch is a really good move. The overhand stance is sick looking and you can pretty much walk around with this and have your opponents guessing on whether you're going to do R1 or the triple R2, which actually doesn't have really good tracking and you really have to try and just use it as a counter attack or be sure that you're at least gonna hit two of these hits the r1 can be used more as a counter or a roll catch the jumping r2s are just amazing the animation for it is so freaking cool and they do a lot of damage with the jumping r1s you can sort of sweep your opponents if you unlock jump and turn to roll catch them for the stats, I am on my Sam of Majula 2 character, which is my PC character. I'm going to be at level 150 with 60 Vigor, 20 Endurance, 20 Strength, 60 Dexterity, and 34 Faith. Alright guys, with all that being said, this has been your boy Ghost Prodigy. Don't forget to titty smack that like button, subscribe to the channel for more Elden Ring PvP videos. And as always, catch you on the next one.